Hi guys, welcome back to the regular guy channel. Hey, there's me. I just set a camera. I'm walking away. This uh, this location, I got my first bear actually at this location. So it was um, yeah, it's it's kind of been near and dear to me, and I use it when I don't get bears anywhere else. I'll come over here and I'll I'll check it out. Yep, there's me checking the camera. I was a little concerned about that palm frond, and it did get in the way a little bit, but eh, well, you'll see. Here's the first one. Look at this bear, man. This guy is, he's, uh, he's doing it. He's, he's doing that bear thing. That's a great scratching tree that they use. He didn't use it this time. I guess he wasn't itchy. He stops there. That trail winds around and goes to the main trail. Check out this bobcat, man. He's marking his territory and I don't know what he's smelling there. There must be something. You know, there's a pile of something there. I don't know what that is. I could, maybe I should have... Well, I didn't notice it when I walked past it. But there's something there that caught his attention. I think it's cool when you see these guys from the back. The backs of the ears have those white patches on them. Most cats do, though. You know, the wild cats. Most of them do. Got another one coming up here. Look at this raccoon, man. Yeah. Not a great shot of him, but... Another bear stepped over that palm frond. Walking past that tree again. This deer, it was raining this day, man. I'm going to tell you what, I was out there. I didn't even um, cut the sound on this. You might be able to hear it. Yeah, I left the sound on for this video. But yeah, this video, I... I got some uh some lady walking her cat and some ho people on horseback but you know that's yeah that's not so much interesting as the animals as bears <laughs> and here we are at the captain's log check out this bobcat doing bobcat stuff i was gonna zoom him in but look at all these things floating around what are these things i have a friend of mine ron that's a biologist ron if you see this please make a comment <clears throat> Or text me and let me know what these things are. I have no idea. They look like bubbles, but I'm sure nobody's out there blowing bubbles at this time of night. Oh, yeah, I got some squirrels, too. Yeah, these nutty little guys doing their thing. I don't know what he's... He's foraging for something, and I don't know what he's finding on the log. This That's kind of weird. Maybe he's picking up the... Remains of other squirrels snacks. I don't know. It's hard to say. These squirrely little nutty guys. And there's a, uh, it could be the same one. Looks like him. It's kind of pudgy from the back. You know, you don't really see a lot of really scrawny animals out there. They're all eating pretty good. I think, anyway. bobcat all right now i had to slow him down because he ran through but when i get a clip see i would normally think well that's it but i i tend to watch the entire clip because look on your right side of your screen where that arrow is there's something gonna happen there look and it's like what's that i saw something and this is still that same clip from when that bobcat walked by there's another bobcat Walking behind him. Now, I don't know if he's following them. I don't know if they're together, but I don't know. But it's always good to watch the entire clip and don't just think that that first 10 seconds, yeah, this, uh, this squirrel, he jumped down and did something down there and then he kind of jumped back up on the log. I zoomed it in, but you couldn't really see him. And he's doing that squirrel thing. foraging look at this owl you know a lot of people like uh, the raptors which are cool you know the eagles the hawks the peregrine falcons but for me it's the owls owls are just awesome i mean check this guy out silent hunters man wings are so uh they're kind of shorter than the other ones but they're broad and they gave him a great gliding ability, you know, within the uh, 
within the trees. Well, I mean, having said that, now, here's some kind of a hawk. I'm not sure what kind. I don't know. Hopefully my biologist friend will let me know. Or somebody out there that knows about this. Yeah, you guys, my subscribers, man. You guys are awesome. Let me know what kind of bird this is. Not a great picture because he's in the sun and he's kind of far away. I had to zoom it in. But I don't know what he's just waiting for. This next one there, he's he's over on the very left. Yeah, he's got something down there. I don't know what it is. Maybe a frog, maybe a snake. It looks like he's standing on something. It's hard to say. But then something happens and spooks him, so he takes off. There's another bobcat. A possum, or an opossum. Yep. Doing his thing. Another one of these nutty little guys. It looks like there he's got um the seeds from a pine cone. You know, he opened it up. I don't know, maybe he opened them up, put them in his pocket, and just decided to <laughs> go to the captain's log and eat them. I don't know. I don't even know if squirrels have pockets. They probably do. I mean, you know. But he's he's tearing something apart there. Again, biologists, let me know. And here he is. He looks like he's about ready to do a backflip off that log. That's the position I would expect. He gets off. There's another old possum. <clears throat> he decided he didn't want to uh, go to the camera. He goes all the way back. He didn't just retreat a little bit. Another bobcat. Another bobcat after that. And uh, thanks for watching the regular guy. Please uh, like, share, and subscribe. Well, thanks for watching the regular guy. That's really all I got at the captain's log this week. Uh, remember, when you go into our parks, uh, please remember to take only pictures. Don't take nothing else out of there. And leave only footprints. Yeah, you don't want to leave any trash. you got to respect the wildlife in their home. And help to keep it clean because... You know, it's their place, not ours. This way our kids will know the excitement of seeing them too. I mean, one day we're going to want to take our kids out and 